I'm from EC background. I wanted to switch into IT stream. I want to do MS in IT in New Zealand. Can I switch to MA without doing any PG diploma? I want to settle there. Please do reply, sir. What uh, you plan to do is you want to switch from EC, which is electronic communication and uh, uh, I think engineering, electronics and com electronics communication and engineering is what I'm thinking it is. And you want to switch to IT. I think it is quite uh, easy to switch from this to that because I do believe that electronics and communication, there'd be a good overlap onto IT. So in terms of the switch itself, I don't think it's a very dramatic switch. I get concerned when somebody who's done, uh, who's, uh, you know, done an MBBS, like wanting to become a doctor, suddenly wants to do IT. That's when I get concerned. But I think this is quite a close match. So absolutely no problem with that, I think, uh, in terms of switching. Uh, can I switch to MA without doing any PG diploma? I mean, I think you mean a master. So absolutely, if you have a bachelor's and if you have the requisite uh, background in your bachelor's in terms of the uh, the percentage in your score and also the required IELTS, which I would think would be a 6.5 for uh, the master's course uh, with no band less than six, I think you should be able to get into it. And most, I mean, uh, more often than not, a PG, if it's a two years master's, the PG diploma is really like the first year of that master's. So uh, whether you opt for a PG or one year PG diploma or a two years master's or a one year master's, definitely possible. And uh, I think uh, definitely uh, that's also a good area to pursue because uh, you are planning to shift from electronics and communication engineering background into information technology. Both those areas are in the long term skill shortage of New Zealand. So I do believe that you will uh, be very well placed because it's a skill shortage area for us and also because you're planning to do either a PG diploma or a master's. I think uh, you're, uh, you'll also be eligible for a three year work visa. So that's enough time for you to be able to find a job and move into residency. So I think, yeah, I think your choices seem to be pretty good. Yeah.